Warning, the following stunts are performed by professionals or under supervision of professionals in a safe environment. We strongly recommend that no one attempt to recreate any of the stunts shown in this video. Alright, I will try to lose 6 kilos in 24 hours. And that equals 50,000 calories. And I will show you step by step what I did. Alright, let's go! Alright, hello and welcome to my channel, Borg! And my name is Jonathan and I'm 25 years old and here is all the information you need about me when we're doing this challenge. In the next 24 hours, I will try to cut as much weight as possible. Because when I was a kid, three years old, I started wrestling. And I was kinda good actually, because I wrestled until I was like 16. And then I stopped competing because I didn't think it was funny. Uh, and I have other plans in my life than wrestling. So I have been cutting weight sometimes, but not that much. I remember when my dad said when I walked to school, now you don't go and eat the lunch, because you're going to a wrestling match tonight and next day after that. And then I said, okay. So I were sitting in the lunchroom with all my classmates and everyone was eating except me. I was sitting there looking like a stupid looney tune or something, I don't know. Now you have seen my body, so you understand what type of guy I am. Uh, and I haven't been cutting weight since 10 years ago. Oh, it's a long time. I don't know how this will end. All right, the clock is 11. 24 a.m. and let's go on the scale. With the camera, my weight is 72.1 kilograms. All right, the first thing I did was to put on some clothes, like three shirts, three pair of shorts, two sweaters, one pair of pants, just to start sweating. And my number one rule was, even though it's very warm, do not remove the clothes. All right, this is my personal thoughts, my personal way of doing it. And I do not recommend to cut weight, but if you need to cut weight, because in a lot of sports you need to do that, my recommendation is if you need to cut weight, do it more often, but less weight. Instead of doing a lot of weight and once in a while, because I think that damage your body much, much more than doing it more often and less weight. That's my personal thought. This is an experiment and yeah, it's fun to see how much weight you can last in 24 hours. For me, it's very important to have an activity that's going on all the time. So I just don't sit here and I'm going to clean the office <laughs> because that's an activity. And I think every activity is good if you're going to cut some weight. who wonder where is camera guy Jesper and uh, he's spending time with his family and I said it's okay I can make a video by my own you know I hope you'll uh, enjoy this video either way because this is an experiment it's not a stunt or yeah it, it could be dangerous so of course it's a type of stunt so I hope you enjoy it because I can't do big stunts every time the big stunts they cost a lot of time a lot of money and right now the income of this channel are not that big, it's zero. <laughs> so if you would like to subscribe and leave a like on this video, I would be super happy. And if you would like to comment, how many uh, pounds or kilos do you think I can lose in 24 hours? Well, I think I'm done with the cleaning, so let's go out for a run. I've been running for a while, but I'm st still not in the forest. And I like to run in the forest. But anyway, I hope you enjoy my videos and yet you don't skip too much. Because if you skip too much, just write me a message on Instagram. You find my Instagram right here and tell me what to do better. Because I don't want you to skip. And please stop with the comments that I should speak English or my English is bad. I know my English isn't the best one, but I try to improve. And that's why I like put these things into the videos that I talk a little bit more. And especially when we're doing a 24 hour challenge, then I think I could put some of these things in when I'm just talking about things that I think are important. And I hope you enjoy it. Alright, I ran like 5 to 6 kilometers and it felt good, but now I really want to have some water. But of course, I can't have that. Or I can if I want, but yeah, I, I don't want so much at 
the moment. Either way, I'm in my uh, local wrestling team's uh, building. Uh, and actually, this is the room where I began wrestling. Uh, at this spot right here. It's pretty amazing to be back here. And these ropes, oh, I want to tell you a story, guys, please. These ropes was the funniest thing when you were a kid. We all were climbing these ropes and it was so fun, but it was much better. Now it's look kind of broken. So we all like tried to climb these ropes when we were kids. I was not so tall, so I always need like to have a ladder to get up there. Then you climb that way and this was the hard part. But when you get over here, then you finally were done. I will do some uh, wrestling throws, like a couple of hundred, I think, so I get really sweaty. Do what I feel like, because this is fun for me. I, I really enjoy doing this. I really miss it, because it's good training, and I think it's one of the best training methods you can do uh, if we're talking sports, uh, I think. That's my opinion. This is my dad and my uncle. They were also wrestling when they were young. Oh yeah, that's my dad again. Do we look alike? I'm dead, so dead. Either way, this is one method if you want to cut some weight. And this is not a good one. You need to be in very good physique, and I, I ain't think that good physique. So I like the sauna better. We're all watching these YouTube tough guys getting into boxing or, I don't care. We can arm wrestle, we can box, we can go into the octagon, we can go wherever you like. But just let me train for two months, and I'm ready. You know, right now, even the kids who open toys on YouTube, they could beat me right now. But give me two months, no one can beat me. That's a big difference, but that's true. All right, and because we're going into the sauna, I don't take the big camera with me, but it's hot in here. Oh, Lord. sitting up there so I'm really really sweaty I'm a bit thirsty I've been for like one hour now really really thirsty to be honest I can tell you my goal my goal was to reach over six kilos the hardest part is the mental game at these challenges so when you're totally alone and no one is here and pushing you to do something it's getting your mind and it's so hard to not give up I, I really feel like give up I really feel like going to eat and do something else and grab some water because I feel like I have lost a lot of weight but I know I'm capable of losing more and look oh my god I haven't watched uh, it's over 100 celsius it's 110 no 105 celsius 220 fahrenheit oh my god you need to see this it's so freaking hot I really need to show you this when I came in it was 80 look at this come on focus oh lord because when I was a kid, my parents always told me, it's in the mind, it's all up here. And so my dad always said that, he said like, come on, keep going, it's only in your head, you can do much more. And, and that's true, I believe in that. So it's, but because some people just give up because, oh, I feel thirsty, I feel for having a bit of food, then I go take that. And this maybe may not be the biggest challenge ever, you should take every challenge as the biggest one. Even though it's a small one, a medium sized one, every challenge is a challenge and you can't give up. I always do my best in every challenge, in every type of things I put my mind to. I do 110% because I believe that's the best. But of course you can't have like 10 things at the same time and do 110% of all the 10 things. That's impossible. But you can give all of you 110% to your own life, to your own time. Spend every second, do everything good. And yeah, maybe maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, I don't know. So yeah, that was just a motivation talk for myself, I think. Oh, and I need to change the camera battery, I see. It's blinking red. <sighs> All right, we'll see you later. All right, I'm feeling very, very tired, so excuse me for that. But uh, I'm carrying all my stuff all the time with me. The scale, I always carrying it with me 
uh, yeah, at this challenge. Of course, not every time. It would be stupid. But yeah, it's getting dark. The sun is going down. And so I'm going home and I'm going to take a bath. But right now, I'm tired and I don't think it will feel so good because I will take a really, really hot bath. Let's see how this goes. It probably will be a couple of seconds for you, but a couple of hours for me. So, please, leave a like before the time lapse ends. All right, that was the bath. I don't know how many hours I've been here, but it's completely dark outside, I can see by the window. I I'm not feeling so well, uh, actually. I pushed my limits so hard. I've always tried to like move my hands, move my feet, like always have the motion in your body because then you produce a little bit more, uh, even though you don't think so, but you do. And if you wonder why all these toys are here, it's not mine. Yeah, now I have answered that question as well. And my plan is that I will go home to my girlfriend's house and do some exercise. I will do some rowing machine and then I will go fast to the bed and lay down and try to sleep. That's my plan. I really want to reach my goal on six kilos, but I feel it's very hard. I'll be back when I have my clothes on and maybe when I'm at my girlfriend's house because I will lay down here for a little bit more, push myself to crawl and get my clothes. I use these shorts when I weigh in, so I need to dry them as well. But I feel maybe, just maybe, that I'm going to take a shit. And that would be very good. False alarm, just a fart. A silent one. When you're so tired in your body that your farts even give up, that's <laughs> sad. Okay, I'm so tired. Either way, clothes are on, double hoodie on the back. And yeah, as you can see, it's very dark outside. And now I'll drive to my girlfriend. And of course, the scale and the shorts going with me. All right, it took me 30 minutes to drive home to my girlfriend. But when I came home to my girlfriend, I trained her for 20 minutes. Then I went to bed because I was completely exhausted. But I had a cheerleader while I was training. So that was nice. He was watching me all the time. Good night. Then I woke up in the middle of the night around 4 a.m. and yeah, I couldn't do it anymore. Oh damn light in my face. I feel so bad right now, to be honest. Uh, but I can't do it anymore. I, I throw in the towel, I give up. I need to drink water. I want a sandwich. And then I want to go to sleep again. But now to the grand finale. Did I reach my goal or did I not? Oh, all right, let's go. Uh, and my shorts are not dry yet. So I have another pair of shorts. So I hope it's okay. Other than that, it's the same outfit. I will hold the camera as well. So we can count the camera in the weight. Let's stand on the scale. All right, the sound is there. I'm standing here. I have some extra equipment, but it doesn't matter. Let's go with equipment. That can't be true. That can't be true. Did we just reach the goal? Six kilos, 50,000 calories in less than 24 hours. Go subscribe now, leave a like, please. And then maybe I will try to gain weight in 24 hours. That would be much, much more easier or funnier because then I never need to feel like thirsty or hungry. But now I will go eat a sandwich, drink a lot of water, and then go to sleep again. I'm in shock and I'm confused. I don't understand anything. Thank you for watching. Before I go to bed, I want to share this moment with you when I take my water. So yeah, I'm happy. I've done everything I'm done. <laughs>